Hello everyone, Relgan here. Today with a game that... Well, I, I didn't play it myself, but a good friend of mine, Mr. SC2 Replay Sets Breath, sent me this replay and was like, Relgan, you should really have a look at it! And, I mean, I cannot, I cannot say no to a begging man, so... Today we're watching a replay of a... Well, I'd call him like a, a mid-master league player. He he wishes to call himself an almost grandmaster league player. To each their own, right? Right off the bat, wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look at this. What do we see in this mineral line? One, two, three drones and one mineral patch. One drone on this patch. One drone on this patch. One drone on this patch. Breath, you are a disappointment, and nothing but. But hey. That's just the start. It's gonna be a long one, guys. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what this game is about, but... <laughs> he's getting he's getting proxy rex, and he's opening with a hatch first. Triple proxy rex. So, either this is going to be the most genius 3 rex defense we've ever seen, or it's going to be uh, nothing but a downfall. I'm speeding up the game a bit, because we're not here to cast a boring-ass game. We're here to to see the sweet stuff. See what the game is all about. The quadrax. Hatch, pool, gas. Is, he will save the larva to make four links for the reaper. Nice. And then a drone at the natural. Okay. The SCVs and marines are walking up to him. Well, unscouted so far. Let's see his reaction. Panic. Fine in main. Our base is under attack. He's staring at he's staring them down. Oh hide the drones. A yes. He... Has emerged. Don't die, drone. Just a build a spine, you're emerged. there anyways. Now the four links are trying to fight against six marines. That's gonna be a tough win, tough one to win, but hey. I like that he's not injecting in his main base. I mean that would almost allow him to spend his money. Another spine crawler at the natural. Well, see guys, what we're seeing here is a third player that instead of injecting would rather just Our build meaningless spines everywhere. Hey, maybe he can hold, so. Our forces are under attack. Let's speed this up a bit, nothing exciting is happening. Terran stopped producing. I the Terran stopped all production. Uh, he's supply blocked. Not building a depot. <laughs> he didn't even wall off. Okay. Yeah. As as you can tell, it's uh, not the highest of not the highest of GM League games here. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty hard to execute a four X against a Zerg that does literally nothing but build spines in his main. So now we're retreating home. Well, I mean, pushing into the two spines would be dangerous. But it's also quite dangerous to not have an orbital command, not have an expansion, doing up even more marines while building no depots at all. What am I watching? Oh, he's, he's giving it to that larva. Never mind. Orbital. DC. Still camping. What is breath? CC what does he see? Upgraded. Creep. Just breaths. He sees no natural, right? So he should be pretty happy. He built a roach one, he's getting a lair. Uh, not saturated, that's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a iffy expansion to take while... I mean, he sees the marines, so like taking an expansion is kind of a difficult task right there. He's making ravagers and roaches, and he's going to night as him, right? But the barracks and everything is flying home. Your base is under attack again. He scans and sees another spine being built. Well, at this point in the game, I'd be like, what the fuck, right? As a Terran. So this third player goes through Travature Lair, and then builds nothing but spine crawlers. 
Aaron tries to expand, but uh, I mean, I don't know. He can beat the four Ravagers, but they're kind of... It's kind of annoying to push down a ramp here. Yeah, but... Gets on top of them. Boom. Boom. Two Ravagers down. Well breath. He lifted the orbital. <laughs> Killed the Overlord. What is your plan? So you got a lair, did nothing with it for two minutes, and con then considered to build the Roach Speed upgrade. That's an Overlord here. That's an Overlord here. Roach Ravage. Aaron has plus one upgrade on the way. Slightly adding workers. I mean, the game is still fairly even, even though the Zerg lost way more. I mean, the, the, Terran, the Terran also didn't really execute his push uh, nicely at all. Like half saturation on the main orbital, really late the natural. Built a lot of marines that he does nothing with. With like these marines do nothing right now. For the past four or so minutes, the marines were basically useless. He just builds a lot of units, but does nothing with it. That's not good. And there goes the Nidus. Kind of expected now. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. I need like I need to be at like two places at once. Defended pretty nicely, I guess. Defended horribly. We're gonna buy all the Medivex. I tried. Medivex fly away. No, that's the that's it. I have almost no energy sound. Please let me heal you. Oh yes, a daring, a very daring knight is for him to build right next to the. Just gonna load up and kill that one. Ah, it's just gonna drop. Anyways, I mean, they're still fairly even. I have no idea how, like, how is the Terran not getting further ahead here? It does have an upgrade lead. Now uh, the the Terran, the Terran is dropping with two medivacs. Hears a night sound at the natural. Evacuates all the workers into the main base. Okay. Oh, nice defensive Roach Ravager squad. Well done, Mr. SC2 replay sets. That's just what I'm going to refer to you from now on. And this push is pretty hard for the Terran to deal with because he is like... Like, the Terran is really bad at macroing. He, he got uh, way ahead with a cheese, but then, then did like nothing with it. Wait, did he lose his natural? I didn't even. Let me let me watch a second. I didn't even. How did he lose the natural? Oh yeah. Ouch. I mean, he has enough units. No, doesn't he? Well, I mean, it's getting more and more roaches. I mean, breath is just too base all inning him. He doesn't even have uh, a, n a nice worker count. It's all, all meat. All meat with no bone. <laughs> oh. Like, the harass is nice. He, the Terran, well, now he, now he doesn't trade that well anymore. He used, he had a really, he had really good trades at the start. But like, the follow-up is abysmal. I feel sorry for this Terran. Ah, he's... Wait a second. Let's watch this again. He takes out the natural. And then Breath builds another Night Swarm over here. Then retreats home with his Road Travager to clean up the drops. Then... Then walks across the map with his Road Travager, even though it's just Night I see. 
These are the chapters of the Art of War by Sun Tzu that weren't released. The confusion chapters. Ah yes, he's trying to see if his Terran opponent is hiding a base, cause the main should be about mined out, right? 250 on the mineral patches there. The breath knows it's his time to win. And somehow the Terran managed to build only one tank, right? Let's see. No, he lost two tanks total. Okay, sorry, I'll take it back. But so that's like it's like two tanks at the minute at minute 14. With 1.2k gas and the factory that's building nothing, barracks that's building nothing, it's not really a high count. Yet, somehow, somehow he still pushes Breath back and you know why? Because he has upgrades and Breath doesn't. I mean he has a tank here, he doesn't even use it. Tank did nothing. Well, maybe he killed a Ling or two. Yeah, I mean he does have two kills, but it, it still didn't really do anything. He has so many workers that he just pulls, he even pulls the mules, he doesn't care. Now he's moving the tank downstairs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bile on the tank, tank down. Ravagers being pushed away. And... The Terran is down to 15 workers. If he had an armory and plus 2 on the way, he would be in a really good position. Even with 17 workers, I mean... Breath has a... Like, he's like mining almost only gas, right? Like, but he manages to spend his money, but because he's building nothing but ravages, I guess. He's spreading creep... Oh, here is this... Ah, oh, I didn't even see this space. See, that's how blind I am. But you cannot hide the base from the eyes of I I I la 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 la. He was able to take them down. What a pickup! Moru level only lost like six units. Yep. Now. Ah yes, lift the main base and you're suddenly on free base. Build Ah yes, I could use another one of these. He builds the tank. Well, killing the knight does cost 50-50, but it's not really detrimental. An armory, minute 17, the Terran decides to build the armory. The <laughs> he hears the Nidus. Like, you can hear where the Nidus comes up, right? You're like, if you're here and then you move your camera down, it's going to sound more like the Nidus is up here. You can kind of deduce, ah, oh, the Nidus is in the north. So he pulls his workers to go kill the Nidus, then realizes, well, nothing is coming. Then sends the lone marine and the queen pops out, kills. <laughs> Just scan, dude. No, oh no, got a mule, boys. Now he scans. What does he scan? Not that. Plus two damage on the way. Ooh, the free prompt attack. Oh, 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 oh! This is costly. Uh, they're moving into the moving into the main base. I don't know main base. I guess the bayonets connect on the tanks. SCVs flee. Uh, it's not really what you usually want, but here he's going to get that orbital command. Our Terran, luckily, has enough money to build two new orbital commands instantly if he would dare to. Now it's long distance mining instead of mining from this space over here. A very tactical decision. Oh, well, let's move back a bit. They went a bit too fast. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa, look at, look at the kite. Killing everything off tree. Like the... I have so many questions about this game. How is Pref only on 49 workers? How... How, how do you beat a Terran down to one base at the 20 minute mark and then have to retreat and cannot even take a fight while he has like 40 army supply and you have 80? What is this? It's 
This is not a close game. <laughs> it's like a one base Terran against a five base Zerg. I well, he's trying to take another base now, but I mean... Building a macro edge, because you can, like... Yes, 40... Wait, 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 guys. So, Breath has 47 workers. One hatch, two hatch, three hatch, four hatch. Technically five. That, let's just say, let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He has four hatcheries and 47 workers, and he cannot spend his money, so he has to build a macro edge. This guy was in, no in the North American Grandmaster League. I hope I hope you regret sending me this replay. I bet he was like, oh my god, Dravin is gonna love my genius multi-pronged attack of using the Nida Swarms in the main base and third base, and I'm just like, man, holy fucking shit, his macro is bad. Like, how do you keep losing a, ba a base to eight marines at the 20 minute mark? What the fuck is even going on? What a game. Wow, oh, congrats, Breath. You really showed this. Uh, Terran Barcode who's boss. Wow. That was a game, guys.